This is the exterior of the University Club. It was built in 1899. It moved here from another location in the city after the other location outgrew its members. The other location had got up to like 1,500 members with a waiting list of like 16, well, 600 members. So uh, the club realized they had to end up moving to a different location, so they chose this location. And as I said, they built this location in uh, 1899. It's just a beautiful location for people to be a member. It's one of the larger clubs, private clubs, in the city. And uh, very nice, and they've capped the membership of this club also. So it's not like it's unlimited and they just want to increase the members so that they can have like more members and more things to do. No, it's that they want it to make it, uh, they want to make sure that it's a nice club for people to be in. And a lot of these clubs these days, they're very eager for our younger members. And that's one of the problems with many of the clubs. They have uh, a lot of members who are a little bit older. And so it's, uh, it's something that the clubs think about. It's, and this club is in a prime location. It's right next to the, uh, the Peninsula Hotel, which was one of the best hotels in the city, and right across the street from the St. Regis. So many of the world's rich and famous stay in this area. So uh, being a member of this club has its perks, and it's uh, very nice to be in this club. So it's just something else to see, something to do for people. So it's a, a very nice place to go to, for people to, to spend time, to socialize with some of their other friends. But this is, as I said, one of many private clubs in the city. And each private club has their own characteristics. So it might seem like one club is the best club, and, but other people will differ. The people who are in the other clubs, they will say, no, our club is better. And uh, each club has their own uh, distinction of what they're looking for, what the members are interested in. For example, some clubs are more for people in the arts. There's another club called the Explorers Club, which caters to those people who have a bent for traveling and being in many different locations and has many famous members, as uh, many of these clubs do. So this is just a better, just an example of the University Club for people in New York and throughout the US and throughout the world to see. So, uh, and as I said, um, it's right next to the Peninsula Hotel, and this club is at 54th and 5th Avenue, one of the best locations in the world.